Wednesday, my dudes. Just kidding, it's Cory Yu. So today, we're gonna be doing a really cool tutorial because you know, I haven't done one of those in like half a week. So, a lot of you have been wondering since I made that tutorial that included how to make thumbnails, how on earth do I make banners? So, here it is, a banner tutorial. Probably gonna get pretty off topic on this, but who gives a crap? So, first off, I start making the banner by going on Photoshop and making a Photoshop thing that is 2560 pixels wide by 423 pixels height tall. Wow, I'm, I'm good at talking. So, basically, that is the height that you will see when you are on a desktop computer and you open up YouTube and you look at somebody's banner. That's the part of the banner that you'll see. So I can add all the rest of it to make it like long enough to put on YouTube later. For now, you're just going to have 2560 by 423. So as you can see here in the speed edit, I'm already pretty far ahead. I've added text and everything. So what I do is I basically add text with whatever font I want. I have way too many fonts. I have some videos on exposing fonts. There will be links to those somewhere. I don't know. So what I do is I have presets basically for text that add lines and glow and all kinds of cool stuff to it. And that is in my other tutorial that includes how I make thumbnails. There will be a link to that too. So I'm expecting that you're looking at this video after you have seen my video on how I make thumbnails and videos. If not, that's in the description. You should see it anyways. So I like to use two main colors in all of my banners if I can do so. In commissions, people are often like, yo, use like seven different colors and all these different overlays that don't go together at all. And I'm like, why are you doing this? So anyways, as you can see, I've kind of added two main colors in this banner for Over the Stars 101. Those colors are red, pink, I don't really know, some kind of mix of red and pink, and light brown. Anyways, I have this swirl overlay. Look up swirl overlays on Google Images and you'll find it. If you haven't already noticed, I use it in literally every banner. So that's what I have just put on the background. I have all kinds of overlays. Now this dotted overlay, literally look it up and you can find it. They specifically requested this, but I use that overlay with the dotted circle line thing all the time. Everybody asks for it. Literally look it up. You can find it really easily. So what I've done for these overlays is I made the blend mode dodge. You can do that over in layers. So I make a new photo. I make it 2560 by 1440. That is the size that you need to have a banner to upload it to YouTube, or that is the recommended size. Anything smaller than that won't look nice and probably won't upload. So what I do is I get the first banner that I made, the little 2560 by 423. I export that as a JPG or JPEG, and then I stick it into the 2560 by 1440, and then I duplicate it and put the two duplicates over in that area that you won't see when you look at the banner on YouTube. So here I am basically putting some rainbow overlays on it. Sometimes those look really nice and sometimes they don't. It really depends on what banner you're making. Anyways, from here, I open up Vegas Pro. I go into Magic Bullet. That is something you can buy for a gazillion and a half dollars. And in Magic Bullet, I can add a bunch of looks and presets. There's a bunch of different presets. I like to make my own looks. They add a lot of cool stuff, as you can see from what's on the screen right now. So once I'm done with that, I will export that as a JPEG, and then I'm basically done with my banner. I'll be putting the finished banner in the end of the video. So that's going to be about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.